I'm literally shaking right now. I cannot believe that just happened. Of all the things to happen, I feel like our house should be safe, but I feel so violated right now. So welcome to the vlog. This is a really important experiment that me and Alyssa are doing. So here's the plan. I'm gonna let her walk you through this experiment that um, TikTok the TikTok showed us. So okay. what you do, you get water, salt. Not really know how much salt, but I think that's enough, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's gonna be super salty water for sure. Okay, and then you put the strawberries in and bugs will crawl out of them, apparently. Maybe these, are, maybe these are bug free ones. I'm like zoomed in good too. Are those little bugs or are they just? No, it's just flakes. Just flakies. Should we put a little bit more salt in? Oh, is that a bug right there? Oh wait, where did it just go? Why? Well, on TikTok there's like tons of bugs. So I know, like, I think I, I need more salt. He's at, these um, strawberries seem a little old too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me just see. Put some more salt in it. I think that's the problem. Yeah, okay. Hang tight, you guys. This is raw and we've never done it before. So you're just seeing it oh, as we see it. Oh, oh, pure sea salt. Well, that's what oh, I just love on this channel, you get vlogs, you get experiments and you get challenges. Did it say how much salt on TikTok? No, maybe dump a little bit more. If you guys ever want to learn anything in your life, go to TikTok and it teaches you everything. Like we would never know about this experiment if it wasn't for TikTok. Okay, let me get in there. Here, I'm gonna look it up on TikTok just to see exactly. Okay, look it up and then we'll come back. As she's doing that, I'm gonna come out here and grill. I just put these on the Barbie. Uh, still got a little bit more time. The chicken still has a little bit more time. Don't worry, I'll just do everything around here. Well, we're doing an experiment. Yeah. Did it say, Lissa, or are you just now watching YouTube? No, y'all see that. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are big white bugs. I'm not seeing anything like that. Hey, let me sit for a little bit longer. Really? Yeah. Mom's calling BS on it. Like a, oh, you let them sit in there for about 30 minutes. Oh, 30 minutes? All right, we'll come back in 30 minutes. Maybe I should live stream this 30 minutes worth, but we'll come back and we'll see how it works. Betsy was bored and wanted something to do, so I'm just letting her grill a little bit. I don't think she really feels like talking today. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. How are we looking? I think we need to expose everybody on TikTok did this. I want those white bugs to come out. It's full of lies, you guys. Don't believe TikTok. Delete the app immediately. Actually, go and follow the Mike So Family on the app and then delete it. Yeah, I think he does it, but it's so fake. It's fake. We I just debunked it. But didn't, why didn't anyone just listen to me when I said that? Said what? And oh, our grandma would always say, if there's like, like little tiny bugs on it, it's more protein. It is more protein. Ah, all right. We had to get out of the house because, well, first of all, we're putting together the bunk room, bedding. So we have to go up to Betty's to get the bedding. The boys wanted to go with the girls. And we are just being the run arounders every day, all day. We're gonna we probably did. go on a date later. We had our <laughs> it's all up. Yes. Can you tell everybody why we did this? Um, because the boys' the 16th birthday and we wanted to let them have a fun party because we don't really do parties that much yet. Their birthday was quite a while ago, but with the whole DMV thing, and we're gonna let them have a kind of a get together with all their friends. And this, 10 or less, we're, Five friends, we're within the governor's standards, but that is what we got them. Liz, since the boys aren't home tonight, let's mean you go give it a shot. 
Your bun looks amazing. You guys, hit Alyssa up. She's taking appointments. Okay, let's go. Bets, come on. Wait, did those people leave? Yeah, they're gone. They sanitized it. Did you watch that? Yeah, but this company is pretty on the ball. Actually, I was really impressed. They wore masks and were sanitizing it all. Yeah, they're actually cleaner than us. So, hey, we're clean. well, yes. The boys love this because you can get it wet. Like, yeah, so it's, a, it's a slip and slide. They'll think that's fun. Yeah, they'll think it's way fun. Okay, let's go for it. Now go fast. <laughs> you have to lay back. If your head at the end, if you hit your head at the end, you'll take it out. Go, babe. No. Just do it. I don't have to my shoes. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get them on and get them. Here, I want to try it. Of course, Gentry wants to go. I knew you were going to oh. go ahead first. <laughs> this will be way way more fun when it, there's water in here. Yeah. Hopefully it's warm. No, it's going to be cold. So no, then run no from outside. Here. Oh, yeah. Get those clouds oh, away. Look. It is a bounce house, too. Bounce on all this stuff. Parkour. First of all, yes, we had a break in. Most of you saw the title and were wondering if we're okay. We are okay. Um, we're gonna be healing for some time. The healing process will need to take place. I think we're all just glad that nobody got hurt. Now I'm gonna tell you the story of what happened. I thought it'd be appropriate to come down where it actually happened. So imagine this. It's the middle of the night, the phone rings, and it's Alyssa. And she's frantically telling me that she can hear somebody downstairs and she sees somebody downstairs on the surveillance system. So I immediately jump out of the bed to go and face the intruder. Once I arrive downstairs at the scene of the crime, I start my search and I kind of go through the house systematically. I first come down and I go towards the gym and notice that nobody's there. And then I can smell the outside air. So at that point I know that a window or door is broken. So I go into the apartment because I hear a noise. And as I was going into the apartment, I heard something behind me. And I spun around as fast as I could to see who was there. And then we made eye contact. And once that eye contact was made, they took off like a cat. So here's the video surveillance footage of how everything unfolded. I'm literally shaking right now. I cannot believe that just happened. 
of all the things to happen. I feel like our house should be safe, but um, I feel so violated right now. I'll talk to you guys more in the morning. think about the break-in last night, I feel like it has forever changed me. It gives me a greater appreciation for myself. It also makes me think about how much more brave and heroic I truly am. I know my whole family will only be stronger because of the actions I took last night. I can tell my kids look at me different now. They know they have a true protector and a warrior in the house. And for my wife who once looked at me like I was only a 10, now wonders if a perfect person can somehow be an 11. I imagine her heart and feelings are burning with desire for me even more than they ever have been before. Most people would hate all of this attention, but I can handle anything now. Hashtag fearless. During this hard time, I would ask that you don't give our family any space to heal. Instead, we ask you all to contact the media so I can tell my uplifting story to everyone. Also, thank you for your kind words. That will probably be spoken about me. You guys. I am still shook from what happened last night. Mm. Betsy, you didn't even get up. Yeah. No, there's a cat. We had a cat come in our house last night. Yeah, wait, how did you guys get it out? I got it out all by myself. Doing nothing, it ran away from that. That was probably the most vicious cat I've ever seen. You could just tell, it was like, I don't even know if it was a cat. I think it was a or cat a mixed with a, like a bobcat. It was a black bobcat cat. Jaguar. Could have been a jaguar. Over there. Huh? I've seen cats over there. Yeah. I'm just glad everybody's okay. Probably wanted to come eat the mice. Yeah. Most people would have been freaked out of their mind. Do you like apple fritters? Mm -hmm. No, I started eating it and then I realized I didn't like it. I was going to say, it doesn't sound like you. I'm going to have this instead. I don't think you'll like that either. Cut it before you just go making it. Betsy, I, don't I know like what it. kind of donuts are. I, I'm a donut connoisseur. Try that one. Mm, nom, 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 nom. And then try this one and tell me. Just try this one, okay? Mm, both really good. Mm, no but I actually prefer this, old fashioned. Yeah. You do not. Yeah. Do not. yeah. Well, oh, crap. actually? No, I do like those better. I told you. See, I am open to change. That's the thing about me, is I'm so flexible with stuff. Like, if I don't like something at one point, I give it a try and I keep trying. Mm -hmm until I end up liking it. All right, boss, we're gonna take you guys, you and Brock over to the girl's house. We can leave any second. Probably 20 minutes. Just wants a little taste. Yeah, just a little taste.